Hi everyone, and welcome. So over the last week I've spent my mornings doing some R&D into some techniques for uprising RBDs. I'll be featuring those techniques in a future video, but basically this involves doing a low res sim which then influences a much higher res sim. As you can imagine, this geometry gets heavy pretty quickly. Even in my R&D tests, I'm hitting over 2 million points, and that's not even production quality. Thankfully, there is this magical node called Transform Pieces. If you've done RBD in any serious capacity before, you will know all about it. It allows us to load our render fracture just once and then apply the transforms from a point cloud onto it, which is super efficient and lightweight on disk compared to saving the entire geometry per frame. Great, so that's that problem solved and life is good, right? Wrong. The problem arises when we start rendering this with Karma. Lops will convert this geometry into USD as soon as you import it into Solaris. Heavy geometry is fine if it's just a static frame, but if you have a heavy effect sequence like this, it will actually import and do the conversion on every frame, which becomes really cumbersome. Thankfully, SideFX has thought about this and has built the Houdini procedural RBD lop, which emulates the behavior of transform pieces in Solaris. You would expect this node to work like transform pieces out of the box, but sadly it doesn't, due to some USD specific quirks. On top of this, the documentation is convoluted and confusing. The good news is that we can summarize this entire document with just two wrangles. I've got a fresh scene here with some fractured geo for demonstration purpose. I've got the proxy geo sim here, the high res fracture that will be rendered on this side, and the RBD points, which are being used to apply the transforms of the low res sim onto the render geo. Usually, we use the name attribute to retrieve the orientation and translation from the points, so all we would need to do is make sure the attribute matches on both, and we're golden. When importing our geometry to Solaris, both the path and the name attribute are reserved by Houdini for building the prim hierarchy, with path taking precedence and name serving as a backup. This means we can't just use the name attribute like always. Side effects built a workaround for this directly into the procedural in the form of the piece name attribute, which is what the giant document is for. So let's build our version of this. Here I have my render geo, making sure it is unpacked. Then I have a wrangle declaring the path attribute. In this case, just slash geo slash torus. Note that I still have the same name attribute here. We then use an attribute swap to move the name attribute into piece name. You can use whatever method you want, just make sure the original name attribute gets deleted. In the other stream, we've got our RBD points. In this wrangle, we are just fetching the path attribute from the first wrangle and adding the points name attribute to it to construct piece name. Again, making sure we clean up the original name using an attribute delete here. This means on the points we only have the piece name attribute, which is the path attribute from the geometry plus the name attribute on the points smashed together. Here is a recap of the attributes you will need along with a nice blurry screenshot of the node graph. Let's bring these elements into lops. We can import both of these using SOP imports for now. Make sure to check the scene graph to validate if your prim hierarchy is correct for your needs. Now drop down a Houdini RBD procedural lop. Select the geo prim in the RBD primitive field and the points in the point primitive. You also have the option to reference the points from SOPs or directly from disk, with the latter providing large speed improvements with heavier simulations. The next most common question after doing this is going to be, how do I get motion blur on this thing? Luckily, that is easily solved with a render geometry settings node. Select the geometry itself and not the RBD procedural. If we plug in some lights and a material, we can see that that is working as expected. If all of this is still not making sense, I am giving away the Taurus hip file for free on my Gumroad, so you can download that to inspect it further. Link below. I hope you found this video helpful, and good luck smashing some RBD shots. Bye for now.